All right, hey everyone, it's Laura Christian here. I am back with another look that actually was inspired from the new 2019 Mary Kay lookbook. Um, so I was looking through it the other day and the colors that they chose for spring, along with a lot of limited edition colors I thought would just be perfect in the look. And we're actually going to recreate a specific look. So let's see, so this is the spring. 2019 lookbook and it's absolutely gorgeous and I was flipping through and this look caught my eye they call it desert oasis but this look is just gorgeous it's nice and bronzy and there's a gold in the middle um, and you know a hint of green I thought this would just be beautiful and then of course using one of the new highlighter dots we're going to add that in as well. So I figured I am officially moved into my new place, so background looks totally different, but I figured we'll go ahead and just jump right into something um, new and exciting. So this is gonna be a talk through. So we're just gonna jump right in and get started. So obviously my brows are already done, um, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the eyes and then we'll move to the rest of the skin. So to help with my eyes, I'm going to first prime, um, and when I say prime, I'm just concealing the darkness. So I'm just going to use the Mary Kay Perfecting Concealer in Deep Beige just to go ahead and conceal, and then this will act as our eyeshadow base. So I'm going to take a sponge, it's already dampened, and then I'm just going to blend all of this in all over my eye. And so since this is the first time that I'm filming in a new area, you have to let me know how does the sound, quality, is it working, is it too loud, is it still echoey, um, and then the lighting. I tried to catch, there's a window right here, so I tried to catch the sun at its peak time, and it's about 3.40 right now, so I think this is actually perfect. Like, I don't have any other lights up right now, so... Thank you, Mr. Sun. I'm gonna go ahead and set everything with my translucent powder. So I'm just going to grab, I'm just gonna grab a flat brush and set all of that. My eyelids are really oily. So if I do not set them with powder, even if I don't put eyeshadow on, if I don't set them with powder, all you'll see is just grease and oil in a line where my eye creases and it looks a hot mess. So I always set mine. And then we're going to jump right into the look. And I'm super excited because Mary Kay just launched their new, I want to say these are the Perfecting, con no, not concealers, the Perfecting Palette. And this is what it looks like. And so I went ahead and put all of the colors that we're going to use in the palette. It's super cute. It's super sleek. kind of has like, uh, I don't think you can see if there's a little hump here, so it's not just super flat. Um, but the colors are gorgeous. This would look perfect in your purse every day. Add your, you know, foundation powder, add whatever you need. If you wanted to remove these and put this area for brushes, like the little compact brushes, you could do that too. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. So I'm going to take a blending brush. I'm going to take the shade Hazelnut right here. And we're going to put this in our lid as our first transition shade. So, I pretty much think I use a hazelnut in every look that I do, just because it acts as a perfect transition shade on my eye for my skin tone. It's pretty neutral, it's not really warm. It's close to a taupe, but not as dark as a taupe. Alright, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want to go ahead and put that all over the crease. You can bring it down to the lid if you need to. You're not really going to see this shade, but it's just going to help everything to blend as we go. So now, the steps in the lookbook don't include a couple of these shadows that I'm using. So for all of my transition shades, so for Hazelnut and for Cinnabar, that's not included in the look in the lookbook. However, I always have to do some type of transition, so I'm just going to add it for my routine. But I'll let you know when we're actually duping the look in the lookbook. So like I said, I'm going to take the next shade, which is Cinnabar, and I'm just going to add that to 
the crease as well a little lower than where we put hazelnut and I'm just going to blend that in on the outer corner first and then when I have less product available I'll bring it into the rest of the stamp it right there and then when you have less and less product as you're blending it out you can bring it in um, this will just help to add dimension to the outer corner just because we're kind of doing a sandwich or halo look with the gold and mossy green so this will kind of help to deepen out that outer corner In the lookbook, they started with rustic, which for me, rustic is we're gonna use this shade. So, this is the old French roast color. I don't have rustic, but this was similar in um, color. So, I'm just going to pick this up on another small money brush Ooh. and be careful because this one has a little more fallout. So, I'm actually gonna use this palette now to go and I'm actually going to add this to my crease. I'm going to stamp it out on the outer corner first. And then I'm going to apply it all over, which is nice. It's just going to give a nice wash of color and it's shimmery. So just FYI, we'll add that all over. Stamping it. And then. Don't be intimidated by rustic. I was looking at this as it was really dark. I was a little nervous when they said apply it all over the eyelid. Um, but it's actually really nice. Like this could easily be an everyday look. Go with some lashes and a nude lip and you'd be good. So that is all over my lid. So then, same thing, they said add gold status eyeshadow over the entire lid as well. So I don't have gold status either but it was similar to the old Amber Blaze. So I'm just gonna take that with my Mary Kay All Over Eyeshadow Brush. I'm gonna pick that up. And it says to put it all over the lid. I'm just gonna start in the center and then work my way out. So starting right here, I'm gonna tap it where I want the most color payoff and then I'll add it for the rest of my lid. So really this look, because you're going in with some browns, some bronzes, some golds. Um, you really want to make sure that you focus on color placement and where you want the most pigmentation. So again, starting off in the center of my lid, I'm finding most of the product there because that's where I want the most payoff. And then I'm gonna take it all over. <clears throat> all right, so after you add Kind of the intensity that you want on the gold next we're actually going to go in with moss and we're just going to apply this to the inner corner and the outer corner of our eye so i'm going to take this is the mary Kay eye crease brush and i'm just going to take some of moss and load it on my brush blow and tap off the excess and then i'm going to what we've been doing this whole time is stamping so i'm going to take that and just stamp it right here on the end where I want the most color and thankfully this is angled and so I'm literally I'm not placing it anywhere else except on this outer corner right here and then when I have most of the color there I'll flip the brush so it was like this and I'll flip it so that way I can start to bring it into the rest of the inner corner And just start to stamp it. Right. And you can start to blend it up a little bit, but you don't want to take it up too high because you just want it to stay right here. Alright, so don't worry about blending right now, but I have the green here, so now I'm going to take it on the inner corner as well. So I'm going to take the tip of this brush, add some moss, and then use that to add precision to where I'm placing it in the inner corner.
So you see where I placed it in the outer corner and then the inner corner. And then I'm going to bring it to closer to the middle to where all you'll see is just a peak of gold in the center of your eye. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous green shade. Like, it, like the name is perfect, it truly is a mossy green. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to bring it into the crease or not. In her picture, you can't really tell because her lid was closed, but from the shadow, I'm thinking they brought it inward. Oh, so in the picture, they actually don't add the green to the inner corner. So we're gonna switch it because I want it in the inner corner. So I am gonna take it right up here just to close the sandwich. I'm gonna blend it out. So taking crease brush, taking French roast. I'm just going to put that right on top to blend it out. And I'm gonna take my blending brush, some cinnabar, and then blend the rest of that out. Just on the edge. Funny when I try to do a look from the fall lookbook. That video oh, was so well received, so I thank you guys. But I also changed it up a bit, so just know with any look, make it your own. Have some fun with it. So, as I continue down that path, I'm going to take Amber Blaze again. I'm going to add it to my brush, and I'm going to spray it with some setting spray. So it's a little bit. And I'm just going to add that to there we go. And again, I'm literally, I'm not rubbing it, I'm just potting it. And then of course I'm gonna go back with moss and just blend out the edges. So as you can see the difference with this eye, it still has no moss, it's just the gold, and then this eye you have that sandwich effect going on. So that is pretty much done. I'm going to grab some eye makeup remover and a Q-tip, clean up the edges, add some liner, and then we'll move on to the rest of the face. All right, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your Q-tip. If you ever need to clean up fallout or just kind of clean up the side of your eye, I'm gonna take my Mary Kay oil-free eye makeup remover, add some just to the cotton swab. And then all you're gonna do is just go right underneath your eye and pull it out like that so that way everything underneath exits out beautifully and then you have a clean under eye section there you go all right so next we're going to add some eyeliner so we're going to take no wing liner this time all right sorry um, take some eyeliner. I'm actually going to, little known fact, the little tip of your liners, any Mary Kay liners, has a sharpener. I didn't know what this was. The top is missing to mine, but an like example with a lip liner. You have a lip liner. If this is coral, take off just the tip and there's a sharpener. A little known fact. And it fits perfectly for the liner. So I'm just going to take my black eyeliner, I'm literally just going to sharpen it just to bring it back to a point. Just unload that. And then I'm going to line. So it looks messy now. Don't worry, we're going to clean it up. Actually, I think I'm just gonna use Q-tip. Just Q-tip, I'm just gonna... Boom, look at that, multi-use. Except this is a clean Q-tip. Don't use the same one, obviously, that your eye makeup remover or not was on. Because it'll shake off your makeup. Alright. So liner is there. I'm gonna add a quick, quick, quick coat of mascara. This is the Mary Kay Lash Lab because I use pretty much nothing else. Alright, so lashes are done. We're ready to go on to the rest of the face. So I know in the lookbook she had on CC cream because her freckles are so beautiful. 
like just gorgeous, like natural everyday makeup. However, for me, we're gonna go in with the normal foundation routine. So, so I have the three shades right here. So it starts with the lightest one being Silver Sands, which looks gorgeous. The second lightest one is Golden Horizon. And then the third one, which is the deepest, is Bronze Light. So let me actually, with this lighting that we have going on, do some swatches for you. So what I found with these drops is a little goes a long way. I love that they actually dry down pretty matte. The shimmer is still there, but it's not an oily look. You don't look greasy. Um, it's literally just like a shiny from within though. So if you see the drops, these are the three. Oh, it's kind of backwards. These are the three. So lightest, medium. Oh, here's the light. Switch back here. Yep, lightest, medium, and then deepest. So when I blend them out like this, which obviously this is definitely more my shade. This is for a bomb highlight and then this is more of an eyeshadow on me. Um but they're gorgeous. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to take, let's see. The one, actually, we're just gonna follow what they did. So we're gonna take bronze light. I'm gonna go ahead and pump some, and then I'm going ahead and dropping some on the high points of my face where I want the sun's light to shine and reflect. And then I'm just gonna use my finger to go ahead and like blend it out. And just, Okay, we'll just take it all over this area because it's actually, it's pretty deep on me. It's actually darker. But you see that glow right there? That's what you want. Next, we're gonna go in with some more illumination. So I'm gonna take the Mary Kay Luminous Wear Liquid Foundation. This is in bronze two, which I'm still trying to see if it's my shade. I want to say I'm a bronze one. Because this was a little darker on me yesterday, but we can always add some highlight and make it work. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with some concealer. We're going to take the same concealer we used to prime the eye. And I'm just going to add it... I'm just gonna take Coco and I'm gonna use that to contour. So, taking my Mary Kay cheek brush, I'm going to use the densest and the shortest bristles on this brush. So it's angled, and you're gonna use this corner right here. And I'm just going to add it to that bottom section, tap off the excess, and then I will go ahead and start contouring. And so, again, they used Bronze Light in the lookbook. I'm actually gonna go in with Golden Horizon. And I'm gonna highlight with that just because Bronze Light was a little dark. I'm gonna, again, add that to the high points of my face. I'm also going to add that to the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. So now, all we have left to do is go over our liquid highlight, finish off the bottom lash line, do a little bit of lips, and we're good to go. So I'm going to, let's finish off the highlight. So on top of the highlight they added, they then went in with, I think this is Honey Glow. So I'm going to Honey Glow and add that just to the tops of my cheekbones. Okay, so it looks like they just added moss to the bottom lash line. So you're gonna take moss, you're gonna take the tip of my brush, and then just add this to the bottom lash line. Alright, 
And then I'm gonna take cinnabar and just blend that out. All right. And then to highlight, I'm actually going to take, in the lookbook they use crystalline. I'm gonna take moonstone because moonstone's a little more um, pleasant on my skin tone. So I'm gonna take, this is technically the ice measure brush. I'm gonna take some moonstone and I'm going to add that to the inner corner of my eye. So we're going to go in with Desert Rose. And you're literally putting it right in between the highlight and the contour. So now I'm going to add mascara to my bottom lash line. Alright, so to finalize everything, they ended with deep nude lip liner and beach bronze gloss. So I'm going to take a deep nude that I just ordered because I had been out for months. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to my lips. And I'm not overlining my lips. I'm literally just following the shape. Alright, so now I'm going to add my Beach Bronze Lip Gloss. Let's find it. So this is Beach Bronze. Gorgeous. I've used this color actually since, since I was in high school, I would say. So I'm just going to take some on my finger. I really don't want to mess up. But I know I shouldn't have it. Alright, so that's my friends. It is the finished look. Like, alright, that is the finished look. Our eyes are done. They are bronzy, they are gold, they are gorgeous, or even just out in the day, you look bomb. The skin looks super good. It looks nice and blended and highlighted forever, just adding the illuminating drops and then going in with a luminous foundation really helps us at that base. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. You have your new lip. You're good to go. You could easily switch this up with a mauve pink lip. Um, obviously, using the new limited edition lip tints would look really good. Like this one would look gorgeous. Like an orange coral. Oh, so many options. Alright, well, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't gotten your hands on the new Mary Kay lookbook, please do. Find a local beauty consultant, reach out to me, we will get you what you need. But this is the first edition for our spring look. So, I hope you guys enjoy.